here is the 3 kilowatt or 3 kva power generator or alternator for my household uh, we are running this with gas as uh, one video i uploaded on this kit so here uh, this alternator i have a problem now the what is the problem is it's not producing voltage here the voltmeter is it is showing zero volt while it is running and the engine is running there is no problem with the engine but there is a problem with the alternator or generator part we are going to address that I, first I will show you how the symptom is and then we will try to troubleshoot and repair that problem so here I am going to start this alternator or generator you can see So as you see that time I was not able to talk because even it will not be listening while the engine is running because it was noisy too much noisy the engine is noisy that's very common the problem is there is some problem inside this wiring harness while I am wiggling on this harness wiring the voltage the generator is producing voltage even the voltage is not efficient uh, sufficient it's less than 200 volt but it should be uh, on some value on some value 220 230 volt it should be but even it was producing some way less than 200 volt it should be um, even it is enough but it should work minimum it should work so there is some problem over here and this wiring as you can see from the control panel this is the control panel actually this wiring is going are coming from the alternator part uh, alternator is over here of course you can see this is a dynamo i'm going to troubleshoot this thing i will open and show you what's the problem inside here are the two screws for this one screw is missing we will provide that screw later on so this one screw i have to open it's too much tight it needs a special screwdriver minimum a good screwdriver is required so this will be good using my rs i have to open it so by this uh, screwdriver I, I am able to open this one and after removing this screw i have to remove this cover so as you can see this cover removed here is what is the thing this uh, item is here is one connection i can see this is loose uh, just I will show you on the camera a close up so here you can see this loose point this connection I can wiggle so hopefully this will be the problem and also here is the unit which is known as uh, the AVR and of course there is a problem with the AVR AVR is not produ producing enough voltage sufficient voltage it is not producing it should produce some way 220 volt but it is not so what i'm doing is i will uh, these uh, avrs what they are doing mm, they are taking this voltage from some way from somewhere this connector is coming and these are the terminals mm, which are connected and here are two terminals which are going to from the avr these two wires yellow and uh, blue of course these two wires they are going to the brush unit so brush we will also check we will inspect other brush brushes are good or not but before they were but now the problem is i can see they are not enough tight so we will remove this brush uh, brush unit and we'll see inspect inside and also this unit i will remove i will reverse engineer a little bit and we'll see how we can re re and, uh, we can increase the voltage to 220 volt so here is this brush unit you can see here are the brushes just I'm going to remove this from the connectors from the wires 
brushes are not bad they are good in size but the problem is with the connectors connectors we should have to clean all the connectors here I can see some marks some burning marks I can see uh, sparking is occurring inside it should not be we should have to clean these and the wires also and the other thing is the AVR I have to use a proper screwdriver for this purpose all are better tight snug So this uh, little voltage which is not 220 instead it is 170 something this is a problem of the AVR so we are going to see this thing here is one sec setting I can see this one if we will adjust it I hope this will bring the voltage to some good level here is the setting so this one if we will set it we will be able to set up the output voltage I will just show you this could, could not be reverse, engin reverse engineered because uh, I cannot see anything open in no it can be but it is difficult enough to reverse engineer it because at the moment you can see this box is open there is some uh, some material they put inside which I will clean of course because this should not be and this material will go in the alternator and ruin the bearing which is not the proper thing for the bearings and machines uh, so this AVR is and hope if will, I will get some AVR sometime I will try to re re reverse engineer that we can even do it because uh, this is not that because this is not that difficult uh, we can break this thing break this thing apart some components we will break down of course but uh, hopefully we will be able to reverse engineer it as uh, sometimes it can be needed I have one circuit I will try with that it's working so that I will do another video uh, for that particular and for this one we will just maintain it we will clean it we'll fix it and adjust this thing to bring it to some optimum voltage level so of course this cleaning and everything I will do off camera because these connections this one connection also I will have to tight I will have to solder it because this is creating a loose point here which is not the desired thing so the soldering will be better for this ground wire uh, so this thing we will do off camera using a small screwdriver like this we should have to adjust this potentiometer as the voltage is not proper so we will adjust this potentiometer but keep in keep in mind that you are dealing with electricity and alternator there are high voltages uh, 220 volt AC so this is not safe that you have to touch anywhere electrical instead we have to take care and we should have to grab this all unit uh, with some sort of insulation cloth something like that we will hold this unit and adjust this voltage and then we'll fix this back so I'm going to start this unit and try to adjust the voltage according to uh, then requirement 220 volt AC
voltage and you can see now the result on the meter. So as uh, now you saw that we adjusted the voltage and we were able to bring it to some way 230-240 volt which is the required desired voltage open circuit uh, while we will put load on this unit so it will come to some way 220 volt by adjusting that uh, potentiometer as you saw. So this is the way we are going to calibrate this unit this generator or alternator unit and by this way we can uh, achieve the desired voltage. Uh, thank you for watching. Keep on watching, stay tuned, subscribe and like this video if you learned something.